Hey guys, it's the floating eyes again. My cold sore is still here and I don't feel like you can even pay attention to me when all you can see is this. <laughs> and then I got like a huge breakout down here. So we're just gonna be this lady today, all right? Okay. So today I wanna do a another tutorial. Do I wanna do another tutorial? No, I would love to sit down and just chat with you guys and have a merry old time. But you know what? I don't want to show the world 20 minutes of a cold sore. And you know, I know I may be weird about it, but I can't see anything else. I'm just priming my eyes with ColourPop No Filter, I'm using the white as a base, and then mixing in a bit of the normal shade just so that it's not perfectly white. So today the look that I'm gonna do is actually gonna be two different eye looks, one on each side of my face. I'm going to do a light purple look and a light pink. And today I'm actually basing the whole eye look off of the new Kathleen Lights and ColourPop Zodiac collection. These two are the ones I wanna focus on. So right here we've got the crab and this one is the scales. And they are both so beautiful and I wanted the eye looks today to be very simple but striking. I don't want them to be like some crazy cut crease. The majority of people aren't gonna do that. If you wanted something actually wearable for Valentine's or just any day, it doesn't have to be friggin' Valentine's Day, but I mean, let's be honest, tomorrow's Valentine's Day, so you may wanna wear this. And you know what? You guys were really receptive to the up close makeup tutorial that I did, which I will link up here if you missed it. I did like a sunset cut crease on Monday. You guys were really receptive to that. You liked the up close visuals because a lot of times tutorials are a lot farther away and you guys were able to see much more precisely what I was doing. So I am going to do yet another. So I'm just tapping out the concealer, getting it all nice and crease free. And then today's look that I have in mind is not gonna be precise at all. So it's in fact a very, very opposite from the look that we did the other day. And today I'm actually gonna start off with the purple eye. And I feel like both eyes are gonna be very similar, but they are going to be different colors. So you can see kind of how you can create a very similar look to this, but with different colors. So I was going through my collection and the Closest that I could find by what I wanted to do in my mind was this. This is Makeup Geek's Hopscotch eyeshadow. So I'm just loading up a really fluffy brush with this shade and on that eye, I'm actually gonna just pack this all over and really fluff it out and blend it out. This is gonna be both two really, really easy eye looks that I feel like you do not have to be a pro to do something like this. You don't have to be super amazing at eyeshadow. You don't have to know how to cut creases. You don't have to do anything like that, which I feel like for me, I feel like the majority of people are gonna be actually doing something that they feel like they can achieve versus if you're kind of new at eyeshadow, you may not feel confident enough to, you know, go in with a rainbow sunset. And honestly, I feel like Valentine's looks tend to want to be a bit more soft anyway. I don't like have a Valentine's look. I literally don't wear makeup 97% of the time. If I'm at home, I am not wearing makeup. But this is just one shadow so far and I'm just really, really buffing this all over the eye because I'm trying to really get it nice and blown out and really soft. I don't want it to have any harshness to it, no harsh edges. I'm using my Makeup Addiction Tapered Blender Brush for this. I want it to be really soft and really periwinkle colored. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna try to tap this shade over the top and see if that looks really nice. If not, I'm gonna wet it and see how that looks. Oh, okay, so I haven't opened these yet, but it looks like it's just a pigment inside. So you have the little stopper that comes in, you pull that out and that's what you're looking at. Let's just try to pat this on over the top. Oh, Kathleen. Wow, wow, wow. And again, because I don't want this to be like a cut crease, I don't want this to have any sort of harsh edges anywhere. I just want it to be like a sparkly, blown out, really soft, glittery, gorgeous periwinkle look. And you know what? I feel like just what a quick and simple eye look that was. Wow, these are beautiful. I feel like that's so Cinderella-y. So I am gonna take a little bit of MAC Fix Plus and I'm going to take a little brush and mix a bit of the pigment in with Fix Plus because I did watch that girl Shay XO and she did a swatch video and these perform incredibly. 
incredibly well when they're mixed in with a mixing medium. And just on the very inner corner, I think I'm gonna take that shade and brighten it up. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I don't know how well you can tell on camera. This shade is unbelievably beautiful. It has a bit of a blue reflect to it, but over top of this periwinkle eyeshadow, it looks so stunning. I'm gonna dip it into a white shade just a bit, just to really buff out the edge up here. There is so much pigment in these, you will never go through an entire one of these. I just cannot imagine how you could ever use up a whole jar of pigment. I think I'm gonna take a bit of this liner. This is the Makeup Forever Versatile Violet. And I'm just gonna line the very base of my lash line. Just where my lashes are gonna sit. But when I close my eyes, you just have a little peak of violet coming through. All right, I'm gonna do the other eye and then I'm gonna pop the lashes on and I will show you what the soft one eyeshadow kind of look looks like. For the second eye, I'm gonna do something very, very, very similar, but just with a different shade. So I was going through my shadows and I was trying to find one that was just kind of striking my fancy. I want something soft and muted and actually it ended up being another Makeup Geek shade. This is the shade Cupcake and you can see I've used a shit ton of this. And it is a very muted mauve -y pink. It's not super bright pink. It's it doesn't give you that like hot fuchsia pink vibe. As you can see, it's just a really soft, soft pink. And it's really pretty and wearable. Sometimes I really love really soft, romantic eye looks like this. Like they're not overly done. They're not too crazy. They're not too much of a cut crease or too intricate. They're just so soft and wearable and easily done by anybody. You can see I'm just really buffing out the shades. The shape of your brow and the crease right here sort of gives you the illusion that you've maybe used more than one shade when really you've just tapped on the one shade. And this is the pigment in the shade, the scales. And as you can see, you open it up, you've got your little stopper, and then that's the pigment. I do the same thing. I'm gonna tap my finger in. Oh, wow. It is just so soft and beautiful. Oh, I love it just like that. Like that's so easy, so quick, so pretty. But I think I am going to take a bit of the Fix Plus or any sort of mixing medium that you have and wet my brush and then dip into that pigment and do the same thing like we did right here. And then again, I don't want any harshness to it. So I'm just tapping it out. I love that. All right, for the liner on this side, I'm gonna use the shade Go Ahead Pink, which is like this muted soft pink. And I'm gonna do the same thing. This is again from Makeup Forever. These are like eye, lip, brow. You can use these for anything. Whatever color you choose to use for your liner too, you could go ahead and use on your lips as well. Obviously this side, probably not. But this side, you really could. It would make the look really cohesive. Ooh, I love this. I love it, I love it, I love it. All right, I'm gonna toss a pair of lashes on so you guys can see. You can use any sort of lashes. You can just use mascara. I love lashes, so I'm gonna use them today. These are gonna be the lashes that I put on. These are the Coco Lashes Risque, and I, Last year, I literally like wore exclusively only these lashes like in 2017. And then I started venturing out into different pairs in 2018. And now I wanna go back to these because these are such a flirty, beautiful lash. One thing I really love about these is that they have a very thin, clear band and you don't have to cut these, at least for my eye shape. I do not have to trim these, which I really love because you can just pull them right off and put them on. So I'm gonna put these on real quick and then I'm gonna be back and I'm going to show you guys the finished eye looks. And I cannot find my glue. 
I cannot find it. I know it's sitting right here in front of me. I'm sure I've looked at it 50 times, but I literally cannot find my lash glue. So I'm gonna try this today. This is Lock On Lash, and it is a super bonding latex-free adhesive. I remember trying this in the past and not liking it. So I don't know, I'll try it again today and we'll see what we think, but I don't know. In case you guys are a little iffy on how to apply lashes, I'm gonna link a video up here on my full video on how to apply false lashes, but I'm gonna leave the camera on so you guys can see me applying these today. Terrible eyelash glue. I literally cannot get it to stick. All right, so these are the lashes on. I honestly love them so much. I just feel like they're so beautiful and they're just flirty and I don't know, they curl really beautifully. The glue that I used to apply them is not great and that is this little tiny glue that came with a pair of lashes. I don't know what the friggin' crap this came in. It's just, I just, I feel like it's not great and I really wish I could find my regular eyelash glue. Now I'm gonna use some ColourPop Volumizing Mascara and I'm going to melt my lashes in with those. All right, so that is after applying mascara. That's what they both look like. I think this side is my favorite. Honestly, I love both so much, but they're just both very different, but I feel like they look so stunning. I'm actually going to apply my brows now, and I'm going to do that on camera as well. When I did my last video, a lot of people in the comments were like, can you please like show us how to do brows since it's so up close and you guys can maybe get a good idea of what I can do. So I'm gonna do my brows on camera. Today I'm gonna be using the MAC Shape and Shade Brow Pen, and this is in lingering and then I'm also going to be using the benefit brow contour pro and that is this pen here and I'm going to be using the second to darkest shade I'm going to use that one there All right, so that's how I do my brows. I just fill them in with the MAC Shape and Shade first, and then I use the Benefit Brow Contour Pro on the outside portion just to deepen up the tail of the brow. And that's the, that on that. I'm gonna go do my skin off camera, and then I'm gonna be back, and I'm gonna finish off the eyes. It's gonna be very simple, but I don't know. I think they look really pretty, so I'll be right back. Okay, so after doing my eyes, I realized I had a better color. This is Worldly Mauve. This is better than that violet one. So I'm gonna go over the top of this with this other color pencil and just tone it down a bit. Oh yeah, that's so much better. This is gonna be the one that I use on my waterline as well. So I've done my skin, I'm gonna let it sit for a minute and then I'm also gonna put this color on my waterline. All right, so for foundation, I used the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation. I am just throwing this on my waterline real quick to make it nice and like a soft muted purple. Oh, I love that. And this is the same pencil that we used on the other eye. Remember it was Go Ahead Pink. I'm just gonna do this on the waterline.
All right, so I'm just gonna finish off my eyes and go in with those same shades and just run them underneath just a bit, just to make sure that it's nice and cohesive and there's no like obvious edge. Not a fan of obvious edge. And obviously I don't have any blush or bronzer or anything like that on yet. As soon as you do, it'll all really blend in together. All right, now I'm gonna do some mascara on my lower lashes. All right, you guys, and this is the finished look. All right, you guys, and this is the finished makeup look for two different eye looks, one matte eyeshadow on each lid and then one pigment on each. I think it's beautiful and I think it's all you need. It's very, very simple. It's very soft, it's very pretty. And for me, you don't need to go in with 50 different eyeshadows to make a really beautiful eye look, just one eyeshadow and I feel like looks really, really pretty. I love these eye looks on both sides. I would feel really beautiful wearing these out and about and maybe they will work for you for Valentine's Day and I hope they do. And I hope you guys like this video. I'm so sorry that you get yet another video video with no mouth in it, but I know this is all anybody's gonna be looking at. I already know it, so I don't even wanna entertain it. All right, you guys, well, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you have not yet, and I will see you at my next video. Bye! So I'm just tap, uh, Periwinkle, that's kind of the color. Oh God, could you see my lip? No. Sometimes I just love, Literally, there hasn't been a car on this road until just now. And it's just kind of, the, the brow, in my last, oh God, you can see my mouth. <laughs> because it's so up close and I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> God, all right, so that's, oh God. <laughs> Come on, you son of a bitch. Come on. And by the way, for foundation, I used the Hourglass Vanish. Okay, cool. And by the way, for foundation, I used the Hourglass. Hourglass? I used it. Hourglass. It's. Oh God, I can see my lip.